Okay, let us now go through the five SDCP, five step data collection process. So we need to be clear about data collection goals. I had already highlighted you on operational definition and procedures and measurement system. Why is measurement system so important? Suppose, unfortunately, one of my known friends, okay, he had cold and cough and fever. Generally, what test do you do if you have cold, cough and fever? Immediately, we all know. So the same thing, COVID test was done for him. And he was started treatment, though COVID test did not show positive results. The doctor, they took the path of treatment for COVID to reduce the, those medications were given to him. But ultimately, he was found of uh, dengue fever. Okay. <laughs> And unfortunately, he didn't survive because it was too late. His organs got damaged. So I'm saying contextual data, relevant data, sufficient data, data is so, so important. Okay. Second is validating the measurement system. The variation comes by inherent nature of the process. For example, when you are having a typical drilling machine and putting holes, the variation can be in millimeters, 0.1 millimeter, 0.2 millimeters. Okay. So because of the, the play that they call or wobbling or the nature of this thing, there is an inherent variation. It is called as an inherent variation of the process. But variation can also be due to the person who is measuring it. Variation can also be due to the measuring equipment that he is using it. Okay, I'll explain you with a different example. When you are weighing yourself, suppose I'm weighing 60 kgs. If I stand on the weighing machine every day, every day will be a slightly different reading in the second decimal place or third decimal place. So that is an inherent variation of my, because sometimes I would eaten more, sometimes I have eaten less. Okay. That is an inherent variation because I've had a heavy diet today. I had a light diet. I'm on a fast and something. This is an inherent variation. But sometimes what can happen is the measurement device itself can have, because not all the equipment are hundred percent perfect. They can only be because even the measurement system can have variation. If you are measuring in this weighing machine and if you are measuring in some other weighing machine, there can be some other difference. Even if it is calibrated, there is something called as a least count. Okay. If you measure beyond that, there will be a variation. Then begin the data collection and continuing improving the measuring consistency also.